All right, hello everyone, this is the Abrams Academy. Once again, thank you for signing up for our paid Abrams subscription plan. If you've signed up for this, you're on the right track to mastering the patented Abrams method. Today we're going to take a look at a television episode that aired this week. It comes from the Netflix series Too Hot to Handle. And, uh, we wanted to take a look at this with you. To, uh, well, you'll see a lot of the signature Abrams method techniques on display here. I am John Dorchester. I'm an actor and a filmmaker. Since 2005, I've been a professor at the Abrams Academy and have taught, I don't know, something like two or three thousand students the Abrams method. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to highlight this for you is that it exemplifies how far reaching the Abrams method really is. We used to see the Abrams method primarily in feature films, stage dramas, things like that. But we are now actually seeing it more and more in non-fiction reality television, podcasts, things like that. This one, for those of you who might not know, is a reality show where, uh, well, basically everyone is tricked into thinking it's a dating show, but then there's a shocking twist where the rules say you can't fuck each other or you lose money. So the first episode of this train wreck always features this big dramatic twist moment where the duping is revealed. And I mean, if you're an actor on this show trying to stand out, you've got a dozen or so other performers surrounding you, so if you want to make your mark on the scene, you've got to really stand out. And you'll see here the ones who do, in fact, manage to stand out, uh, uh, the ones who use our Abrams method. So anyways, this is the moment that the trick is revealed to the contestants, and I mean, take a look. If you've been studying Abrams at all, right away, you'll notice a few of what we call our core techniques. The abyssal glance, finger work, the palm rest, and both a single and a double wipe. There's another method too, a little bit more advanced as it is a combination manoeuvre. It's a bit trickier to master those. This one is a compound manoeuvre that Howard Abrams called the crumbling hero. The gist of it is, the performer begins emoting as a powerful, brave, unmovable object, like a wall or a large boulder. But presumably on account of the emotional storm brewing inside, he quickly crumbles, unable to maintain the facade before collapsing in a whimpering heap. Check this out. So here's stage one of the manoeuvre, the brace. He's locked it in right there and it's superb. And... Boom. We pivot smoothly into stage two. This performer is quite good actually. I actually saw in the credits that a few of these guys were students at Abrams last semester. It's quite a treat to see our grads bringing our techniques to new places. And watch this. Wait, right there. How good is that? And here's stage three, the crumbling. The emotions are so real that they even managed to demolish that seemingly unmovable rock. And there you go. That's the crumbling hero. He caps it off with a perfect palm break. Very nicely done. Here we have a nice classic wipe. Now this performer is using the back of the hand. That's something we teach in the Abrams Method course. A lot of people use their fingers, but the back of the hand works really well, especially when you want to obscure your face a little bit. Maybe you haven't quite locked in your performance yet and want to give yourself a little cover, you know, to calibrate the whole act. And then this gentleman here you'll see employing a textbook double wipe. Brilliant. This is an interesting one here. This is the, uh, the nose rub. If you took the Abrams course before 1995, you probably saw it referred to as beaking. Basically, what this is, is a, uh, a quick sort of illusion that is very handy for beginners to the course who have difficulty drawing out secretions of tears and mucus. You actually can activate the blood vessels in your nose with a light scratch and rub, just like that. And what that is going to do is simulate the look of someone who has been quite distraught and perhaps has been blowing their nose or wiping away tears. Very nice. Anyway, that's all for this quick lesson. We hope you're able to see the many ways and in fact the many genres of performance the Abrams method can be used with. See you next time, fuckers! <laughs>